what up guys welcome to your 20th tutorial hopefully we're gonna finish up that list view and you know check it in action here but basically uh, what we need to do now is kind of reference everything in Java that we've done so far and we're gonna go through a few a few different things that you've done before but again the more you use them the more you use list views the more you'll understand what's going on basically when we set up a list view we're gonna to need to set up something called a list adapter and within that list of adapter it's gonna take an array adapter which is going to take basically this array that we set up so to set up our list adapter we're going to say set list adapter and this is method and it's going to take within its parameters like I said an array adapter but since we don't have one we're going to say new array adapter and what kind of adapter is it well it's going to be a string adapter or a, a string array because that's what we set up this as and now we just kinda gotta define what it is so basically it's gonna take if I can I need to import this real quick and hopefully I can show you what it takes so we can see that it takes a context an int and also a uh, a string right here this bottom one is what I'm referring to it, a string array so it's gonna take a context for the context we're gonna say this for the int it's gonna be what we uh, that single item layout that we did and for our and for our, uh, uh, string array we're going to use this food right here so we're just going to say food and that's going to set up our set our list adapter so we're going to go down a couple lines and now we need to set up a list view so we're going to say list view and we can label it as whatever I'm just going to call it list and we probably have to import this as well. Yeah, list, import list view. And then we need to set up our list to something. And we can use a method called get list view. And what's that going to do? Well, it's going to get a, our list view. And really, this isn't doing anything yet, just like every other variable we've done. So we want to do some methods here. So we're going to say list. And we want to set up a text filter and make it enabled. And to do that, we're going to say set. Oh, my computer's freezing. All right, good. Set text enabled, and it takes a true or false statement because it's boolean right here, and we want it to be true. So there you go. And we also want um, to set up our on click listener, so when we click an item in our list, it kind of picks it up. You know, just kind of like we do with the menu. So it's we need to set up a set on item click listener. So we're also going to say list dot set and my computer's probably going to freeze again set on item click listener and what does that take it takes an on item click listener and we don't have one defined yet so we're going to say new on item click or item click listener because we're setting up a new one And what is this item click listener going to take or do basically? And we're just going to give it a bracket right here and we're going to finish off our statement and kind of define what that does. I don't know if we have to import on item click listener and hopefully we get rid of some errors. And we're going to also add unimplemented method, which is basically going to be our on item click because that's the only method, you know, an on item click listener does is whatever's on its item. And basically, here we see that it takes four things um, into this like method. It takes an adapter view, and you know it doesn't really define what kind of adapter view it takes, even though ours is a string. So we're just going to leave that question mark. And that adapter view is called argument zero. And view it takes a view, and that's going to be argument one. It takes integer argument two, along also as well argument three. So we can kind of use those within whatever our on item click does and this is just kind of basic Java terms I don't know if I explained that before but we're going to use that to create a toast and you should be familiar with toast I'm just going to kind of put something real quick just so I can um, import my import my toast here and then basically I'm just going to set it up all at once so we're going to say toast dot make text and Again, it takes context, text, and duration. 
For context, we're going to use get application content. So it's going to get the application content. And then for our text, we want to use this view because remember, a text view is a view. And that's what we want to say when we click on this item, we get that view. And we're going to turn it to some text. So we're going to use this argument one basically in this right here. So, but we need to set up some parentheses real quick. So the first, um, first one, we're looking for a text view. And then we also want to say, what text view are we looking for? Well, whatever we pass in here. It's going to be called argument one. Oops. All right. Getting a little crazy here. And then so it's going to get the text view from here. We're going to import text view as well. And basically it sets whatever view in here. But you know, we don't we can't display a view. We can only display text. So we're going to say get text from that view. And that's again the method that we've used before. Just like we uh Sorry, I'm trying to stall here while my computer is loading. But basically, just like we did with our edit text, and we used get text from our edit text in like a tutorial. Well, I'm not even for sure what tutorial that was, but like 12 or something. But um, basically, we're just getting the text from this view. And what kind of view is that? It's a text view. All right. And again, this is a method, so we're going to use that. And for duration, like you guys probably know you guys are champions you're gonna have to reference the toast class dot you know get long or get short and in it with a semicolon we shouldn't be getting any errors I'm gonna make sure this runs and works here oh so now we set up this whole text but I forgot to show it so we're gonna say dot um, show method and then now it should be showing every time I click as this loads, again, I want to thank you guys for watching, subscribing, giving me those thumbs up, telling your friends and family, all that good stuff. Definitely appreciate it. And also, yeah, we went through all this stuff fast, list adapters, array adapters, list views, all that stuff. You're probably like, what is going on? And if you guys need me to explain, break this down even more, let me know. But, uh, and I'll make another tutorial on this. But basically, when we click our list view button, it takes us to this new class that we created. And as you can see, we can scroll in this class, and we didn't even set up a scroll view. So, you know, that's basically all list views will, or list activities will be capable of doing this in our list views. And then also, when we click on like bacon, it's going to create that toast, bacon, or cheese, cheese, or sandwich, sandwich. So basically, that's a simple list view. Again, thanks for watching, guys. Um, hope you guys have a great day and see you later.